What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me tonight is my buddy, Mike. How's it going? Um, Jesse, um, if you've been watching the other videos for this particular episode, Jesse's internet has been down, and unfortunately, he will not be with us. Yeah, it's 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 dead. Um, however, he's, he's 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 with us in spirit, and we have his notes, um, what he wants to get across in our discussion here. So, yes. uh, what are we doing, guys? This is the discussion for Badlands Into the Badlands season two, episode two, entitled uh, what was this called again? In Force of Eagle Claw. There you go. That's what it is. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, what did you guys think of this episode? Uh, Mike and I certainly enjoyed it. Uh, as, yeah. I'm sure you could tell by us by watching the live reaction we did. And uh, if you watch the review, that's awesome. Get over there, check that out if you haven't. So um, what we want to do here is, uh, I guess, Mike. You know what? I'll give the uh, uh, little synopsis here, real quick, of this episode. Yes. Right. So while Sunny and Beiji struggle to stay alive, the widow faces challenges as she consolidates her power. And MK yeah. discovers secrets about his past. Um, okay. <laughs> I guess yeah. some of that is a little off. Um, you know, why don't we why don't we head over to uh, Sonny and Beiji real quick? Um, yeah. And just talk about that. The whole beginning sequence was awesome. You know, you, you know, get getting a martial arts master and a and a big fat guy chained to each other when a <laughs> massive d- force of nature is about is coming down on you. I mean. That's right. Can't get any better than that. What a, it was a really cool fight. It was a gory it fight at the end. Um, nah, man. What'd you think about that? I thought that was fucking great, though. Yeah, no. Like we've been saying, these cho- the, the way they choreograph these fights are awesome. Um, and just the just the uh, the moves and that they pull off are, are, were insane. Especially when Sunny was just tossing uh, you he know Beachy around. And, <laughs> yeah, he uses the leverage or whatever he does to sling him. And yeah, hell yeah, man. They were able to. Uh, you know they were able to to escape up up to the stairs until we got to the the cool fan uh, scene, um, but yeah, you know just the the, the overall uh, martial arts. Uh, I wonder who who is. We should try to look into that and see so we can give some information next week. But of who's the one that choreographs this and what he's what what you know maybe. Yeah, well, I mean those are those are Hong Kong stunt guys that do that. They're it's legit. No, but Hong just Kong. A, yeah, yeah. I you know, it's, it's a group. It's I think they, I I watched in the in the when the first before the first season aired, they put out these you know featurettes, and I watched. Yeah. I I was like because I was so psyched about this, and so I watched. You know, and they had a bunch of, and they're probably still on AMC. But there's it's like I believe if I'm wrong, you know, I'm sorry. You know, I'll yeah, no, correct, I'd like to. Lo- I believe like it's a Hong, they, a group of Hong Kong stunt people. You know, that choreograph yeah. and do this stuff. Um, oh my God. It's it's just awesome. It's yeah, great. So- I I do I do want I do want to throw some shade at the at the kicking the ginormous man into the slow moving fan no that's not you're not gonna i saw that and i was expecting it to like break yeah. and buckle and land on the, instead it like i was like oh that's no that fan had hey. me moving three times faster to, 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 to get a man like that chopped up he would have been he would have been fucking he would have really been, fucked up yeah it would have hurt him might have saw larger chunks maybe yeah seven, yeah seven, but small. you know what but it's well, fun. He, it's funny because I, I mentioned, like in the live reaction, I said, "You know what? They, they do like like when Beiji undoes the locks, clink, clink, clink. Like it's like a comic book, and like in comic books or cartoons, right? It, they things have to get done, so they get done. You know, they needed well, you, food. You, he reaches it, he grabs a rat, and he fucking food. hears it or whatever, or feels it, you know, below his feet or but, whatever the hell he did to, to find it. But right? you know what? The, we're getting backstory on him. So we don't really know who Beiji is, but we know that he, he gets out and he's like, oh, I haven't been out here in a while. And yeah, so he know knows the land. Up. He knows that area, at least. Yeah. He yeah, knows yeah. he's some kind of forager, scrounger, scavenger, right? He knows how to live off the land. He probably got arrested because he stole some shit. You know what yeah. I mean? He's a thief. He's a liar. But we're really getting to know him. Um, and again, the the... The buddy road trip dynamic, I think, was so yeah. great to to do for this season. Yeah, there's going to be a big payoff. Um, I, I can feel it coming when because now if you look at the two of them, if you look if you look at Sunny and you look at Beiji, you know, you see all the qualities that Sunny can give, and, and we're getting like you said, we're getting a taste of what Beiji can offer. So I think they get a bounce, you know, bounce off each other 
well, you know, and that dynamic. Yeah. And Jesse, Jesse even wrote just to right. give you a little bit of what Jesse wrote down. Jesse said the dynamic between uh, Beji and and Sonny was great, and he's and he called uh, the big wall at the end <laughs> that they finally encountered Trump's wall. Yeah, so <laughs> it got <laughs> built. Who, <laughs> that was yeah, oh man, that's yeah. the future. Holy shit, that's, that's the future. <laughs> oh no, how did they know well, that, means that the Badlands would be somewhere in uh, oh, Mexico it's true. or in the oh, US right there? No. Right? Oh, better start yeah. learning martial arts now, Mikey. That's it. I know. Um, but yeah. So, all right. So, yeah. So, I mean, all right. So, we're going to move on from those two. But, too. yeah. But th- that was great, though. That's some really good stuff. I think we're all looking forward for that to see that. Yeah. Um, we're looking, yeah. Hoping to see uh, how long it's going to take for Sonny to bump into to Vale or, or to get or back. Quinn, yeah. He's got to get through that wall, get back. He's got to get back into the Badlands. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's so. Where they're going. Breaking um, in. Let's go real quick. Let's walk. Let's walk. Let's just mosey on over to the widow real quick. Um, over at the widow's place, we got we got to see Waldo again, the master yeah. in this in in the the master on four wheels, right? Yeah. Um, she had a dialogue with uh, with Tilda there for a little bit, and Jesse also said he he thought that was really well done, and they kind of we kind of got a little bit of a backstory with. Um, with what Tilda had heard about Waldo in the past, how she said you can balance on the tip of your sword, or your knife blade. And, he's like, he's like, and, I could, he goes, I, I used to be able to sneak before, up on my own shadow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before so he was a badass. Um, like that guy was a badass. Yeah. However, he because we didn't find out. We never found yeah, out I think why we did. he was in the. Chair, I right? think I think we did. I don't remember. And you guys can correct us if we're wrong, yeah. or if you remember, or if you know. But I don't. I don't remember. Write it down below. Yeah. But um, but because let's, Tilda let's does know. say before, and then she kind of gave a knock to the wheelchair. Yeah, she was teasing like him. Saying, she's like, "You used to yeah. dance." She's like that's yeah, the that's right. She's like, "And you used to dance," and then he's like, right. "Bitch." Like um, fuck you, bitch. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. So good. So, and then and then you know we find out from uh you know we find out that um they uh. I mean, this is not no, not just Ryder, but all the other barons want to sit down, and she's like, they want to kill me, and he's like, I know that. He's like, but you got to go in and be like, look, all right, let's work this out. She's like, and what if they want to slit my throat? He's like, then we just draw swords and we kill them all. And she's like, I like your style, old man. Clink, you know. We got a little bit of them, you know. We only got a little, yeah, a little, a little piece of, of that. I'm liking where this is going. They're giving us. Like, hey, look, this person's doing this, 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 this person's doing this person. It's, uh, it's, you know, it's moving re- pretty you know, quick. I said it know. a million times already. They're just reconnecting everybody. That's what yeah. that's what and a good show does. Get, and, yeah. you know, gives um, gives even a newer viewer, someone that may not have seen the first season yet, kind of a little bit of, you, you know. got to get them into it, right. Got Because yeah. some people don't want to binge like we do. Like, we were like, I'm going to binge the first season. Yeah. Even if I came in on the third season, I'm like, I'm binging the, fart, the first three seasons before I watch this season, you know. Yeah. Um, but like, you know, like, like Game of Thrones, I did that with, I hadn't watched the first season and then I binged the first season right, be- right, like the, like, a f- like two days before season two that. started. Yeah, I started that late too. So I binged fucking hella heavy. Yeah. Binge. So anyway, yeah. but it's, it's good stuff. So, um, so yeah, so we, so we got some, so she's, she's gonna, she's not going, she's not going into the night silently. You know what I mean? She's oh, going to give not. them a run for their money. Not. Especially with Waldo there, he's a great yeah. tactician. He's like he's really yeah. good at that shit. So, um, moving on, uh, let's talk about Baroness Lydia. And yes. first with her father, his name is Pan- Panrith or some shit like that. Fucking some <laughs> dumb some, Pan's Labyrinth. Some, yeah, some dumb fucking name. Penrith, his name is right. Uh, Lance H- Hendrickson. Um, and yeah. for those of you who are a little bit younger than say Mike and I, Lance Hendrickson, we grew up with him. He he's been he was in Aliens. Uh, he was, you know, he's he's been in so many things. Pumpkinhead, which is one of the, you know, coolest, like, yeah. dopiest, Pumpkin scary Head. movies, like the scariest from the eighties, nineties, yeah. right? Anyway, he's so he's he's just like this iconic guy. Um, <laughs> Jesse calls him the Bob Bar- Bob Barker looking <laughs> mofo who was leading the cult <laughs> of peace or whatever. But um, no, that's Lance Hendrickson, man. He's he's awesome. I love seeing him again. Um, mm. You know, and again, we don't, we didn't get much. We know that that's her father. That's, and, and again, Lydia was Quinn's wife, or still is, I guess, um, one of his wives who he kicked out. And, um, yeah, so these, so obviously nobody, like, they're, I, honestly, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't, I don't truly understand the, what, I guess they're a, a cult of, of peace goers. Just a pe- yeah, they just, a, they're just like a religious group. Obviously, they mention the gods, and only the gods can kill. And that's why when we see, these these uh, mercenaries or whoever the fuck they were, just this this couple these couple guys bandits or something. To run I don't know. Yeah. And, but they've been yeah. there before, though. They they made it. It seemed like you no, know, they they have been there before. They've terrorized these people before. 
yeah, they tried grabbing the one girl. Looked like they wanted to take her to, you know, do god awful things to her or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So right in the middle of this wedding that we saw, that uh, Lydia was was in the middle of, that she was, uh, you know, that 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 the um, the Bob Barker looking motherfucker was 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 leading the the procession with, yeah. there. But yeah, so um, you know, from the first episode, we see how Lydia reconnected back with the father from from where we saw last in the first season, the end of the first season when she reconnected with him again. Um, six months later, obviously now she felt like she was a part of this group, but in the end she defended herself and everybody else kind of just left it to the gods, right? And they all just kneeled when these guys came in and they were just going to let the, them take them out and she had nothing, you know, she wasn't going to take, she wasn't going to take that shit. No, you know? she, yo, and that was, and I'm going to tell you, and I think Jesse would agree with me. I yeah. think that she was more believable in this, in doing the action than, than the widow, <laughs> the actress that plays the widow. <laughs> But you guys hate on her. having said that, no, nah, it's just it's I don't know why, but um, it's still good either way. It's still good. The character hey, itself is amazing. Yeah. But yo, she's yeah, Lydia was fucking great. I loved it. It was so cool, man. You know, um, it was you know gory. It was it was enough gore. You know, it was uh, it was just yeah. it was really cool oh, seeing awesome. her do that. It's like why it's in her. It's ingrained in her. She's been mm-hmm. with the Baron so long. She knows about the Clippers. She's probably trained with them all. You know, um, I want to say though, uh, so this is so Badlands. The only other show that we watched that's done a red wedding what do you what do you uh, i think <laughs> i think i think it might i think i see it as like a kind of like an homage you know i bet you these people that make this show like love game of thrones and they respect the shit out of it and i bet you this definitely is kind of like a definitely like a little could. homage to it you know what i mean yeah. well it gave a reason for 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 uh for them to to kick you know to kick lydia out yeah you know so lydia lydia gets kicked out she goes runs back to um the plantation. Well, no, I, well, not that one. I guess it's a different one now. To see her yeah. son Ryder, who is a complete douchebag to her, um, and J- Jesse says, "He who must who must call himself a baron is not Ryder." <laughs> no, he who must call himself a baron is not. Yeah, and and, and he's talking about Ryder. But yeah, again, you got you got the, you got you know. I feel like you got you got very similar tropes that we've seen many other places again yeah. you know so in this case you have the 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 youngling the young guy the young king Who knows G- all game of and... thrones it's just like 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 prince joffrey you know or king joffrey yeah. gets thrown yeah. into this you know position of power and he's not ready for it he's yeah. he's 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 brash he's you know stupid he's young he's not tactile you know it's mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. Oh, um, well, look at look at what Lydia, you know, Lydia had had her experience by, you know, being by Quinn's side for so long. And and she was talking about how even though she was living on such a, um, a simple mean, you know, um, the last six months, she even heard the story she had said about how he's not having writers doesn't have the respect of the uh, men. You know, of the yeah, man, he's not uh, controlling you know, and things people out there are the leaving lands, for, yeah. for 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 uh, to join the widow and things like this. So. He, I mean, before she said that, it seems like he was almost kind of like, "All right, I'll take you kind of back. I'll protect you." Right. But and then she after, fucking threw some shade in his face. But dude, and he's like, "Get the fuck out of here, dude." Yeah. What about? Um, I'm gonna do, bring it up again. Another correlation with Game of Thrones. Um, Lydia. Yeah, um, Cersei. Uh, yeah, she's a little, a few shades, a few shades away from from Cersei, but basically the same thing. Where she's saying, "Look, I can." tell you how to do this she's like yeah. i know what i'm doing let me in and i can be that and he's like no and he's like a little nah. bitch you know but dude i'm telling you there's another correlation right there dude which is fine with me i don't know about you but i'm okay with it i'm okay yeah. with it i like it you know again not something new it's been done in literature and film and for thousands of years right you know um hey. but anyway yeah so i mean very cool you know very very cool again just giving us more enough to be like okay now we know where these characters are going to go or at least we have an idea of what you know of what's going on with them you know um exactly, exactly. How, let's run over to mk yes all right again fucking we got the yoda thing okay now now we're doing some correlation yeah, you and jesse others. both said that yeah the yeah yoda. Je- you know jesse says yoda's forest over here facing his dark self and all that i i said the same thing you know in the review it's it's you know it's it's Yoda. It's the whole Luke Luke fighting his dark self, which again, it's a trope from literature, thousands of years. Um, but you know what though? I feel like it. I I feel like some of that stuff's played out a little bit, you know. And 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 I was like, I was telling Mike on the live, I was like, 
Look, I just, I hope they just get through it quickly. Let him, I understand that for the character, he's got to face it. He's got to learn to harness it. She's, to, she told him this episode. Yeah. Master has told him this episode. You have the strongest ability or the strongest that power I, yeah. I've ever seen, you know? So you need to learn to control it. And he, I don't want to, and this and that. And then he's like, well, all right, I guess I will, you know? So, um, and then he, you know, um, the, the, he ends up not being able to, you know, great fight scene though. What a cool close quarters, you know, fight scene. Um, and with with the bad side, the dark and the light, you know. Yeah, it was cool, man. I I mean, I enjoyed mm-hmm. it. Um, Jesse mm-hmm. says, "Look, the smoke monster is here now to help MK." <laughs> I think he <laughs> me, uh, that was when we we thought he was token, right? Yeah. Yeah, to, to get him into the thing. Um, Jesse says, "Creepy master standing over MK is creepy." <laughs> so I guess when he's laying. <laughs> yeah, well, we both said that. Yeah, yeah. Um, we both said that. But yeah, man. So I don't know. It's, I mean, it's the beginning of his training, dude. You know, we got to see it, up, right? Really. I guess I mean, we have to see it. We got to go yeah. through it. I mean, I'm sure they'll be. With him. I'm sure he's going to go into this into this trance state, into this other place, whatever you want to call this, to to just keep um, you know fighting that that dark side. You know, I mean. I can't see it really any other way until he eventually is able to defeat it, you know. And then because be able to so harness far, it. yeah. Well, so far he's he's gotten. I think it's going to be like banished from him completely. No, 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 it, no, no, no. He's no. His goal strength, is to control but not it, the, not the. Well, to control it, but control it. I would like to see. Way. I would like to see it. Like you mentioned, Jekyll and Hyde, right? Yeah. Um, during the review, I believe. Um, yeah. I I would love to see them do is go go left a little bit, all right, and be like make it something that not only does he harness it, but it's something, but it's still evil and like kind of like the Hulk, you know, like he lets it out, he allows himself to let it out, but for the most part he's in control of it. But for so, good, it's got well, be right, well, right, well, right. No, that's what I'm saying for good, you know, where he's like, oh, you guys mess with, and we got a little of that in the first season. Um, he's like, you guys mess with it. We we really this whole time we haven't mentioned the fact that they brought him back to his past first to see that when when he was brought over to this land or whatever that he killed everyone on the ship and he's like hey, they were good people and stuff. So he's really fighting with some demons. He's still a young guy. He's separated from his family, from his mom. He doesn't know what the fuck's going on. This thing just happens. He blacks out. He doesn't know. You know, Sonny was trying to train him, but Sonny can't train him. Like Sonny just that's Sonny's not that. Sonny's no. not that for him. Which, you know what? Is, is, is To be honest with you, it was actually kind of really cool that they took that away. Like, Sonny's not the one to train him. Sonny's not going to. So the next time they meet, I hope MK's in a position to be like, look, I can actually help you now. Like, I know what I'm doing, or at least yeah. I've got a decent handle on it enough that we can fight back to back, side to side. You know, because I still think that he cares for Sonny and he, and he you know, oh, believes Sonny yeah, is his yeah. friend. And I think the next time they meet, it's going to be badass. You know, and yeah. not against each other, but like, you know, with each other, you know, um, absolutely. I just I really like that. I, th- I think it's cool that they took him out of the equation, Sonny. You know, like it, it isn't like he, he's my ward. Like he's like he's yeah, not looking no, for that. Well, you know, I like, mean, we, we see, you know, Sonny is Sonny is a fantastic martial artist and um, he's you know, he's kick ass, but he doesn't have these these abilities, these powers. Right. You know, MK has this power, you know, the. um you know the uh, the master has these you know insane abilities she right. can heal herself she she can take um, she can take mk out of these these dark trances these yeah. these uh you know that that dark side of him and uh, she's turning origami animals into uh you know uh, smoke and and shooting you know origami birds across the the room you know what i mean right, so yeah. there's something supernatural about her uh, you know however you would want to say that that sunny just can't he can't compete with you know him. he doesn't have yeah he doesn't let me have ask them. you let me ask you this mikey um yeah. the enter the dragon's room with all the mirrors <laughs> you know the scene yeah, the fun house yeah. Yeah. the fun house from enter the dragon with bruce lee mm. uh yay or nay i i mean I saw why they did that because she said, I want what he's like, what is this room about? What is this? You know, and you saw a bunch of his reflections, you've seen, however, 50 of him or whatever it is. And she said, this is, um, you know, this is to show all the different like parts of you. This is what you're right. made up of in a way. So I saw I saw the reason they did it. I mean, did it half? I mean, it could it have easily cool. been done. 
in yeah, her in her chambers, me. right? Yeah. yeah, it didn't bother me, but it just like I said, just for that one reason, just to show. I forgot exactly what she how she worked. No, you, it, but yeah, you, 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 is, you, 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 you know, hit it. You hit it though. You, yeah. It was enough. You know what it is? It, it, so. the, it took me out of it took me out of the environment, and maybe it was supposed to. Maybe it was supposed. Maybe it was like a cheap way to bring them into another space. Take that as many different ways as you want to 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 have this happen to him but it really did take me out of it like we're looking at the mountainside and a beautiful waterfall and this dark you know um uh room with incense burning and and fire over here and you know what i mean like and then it's just all of a sudden you're in this like clean industrial glass filled room and i'm like i know they they must have a lot of windex right yeah seriously it was just weird you know especially all that smoke right anyway um, still very cool. I, you know, yes. we're getting down about the whole Yoda Luke thing, but yeah, we know it's got to happen. It was cool. It was a really cool fight. He's gonna have to face him again because at the end of it, he's getting, I think multiple he's getting times. pounded. Until he, he's getting until he pounded. Beats him. I'd love to see. Yes, I'd love to see that whole situation, like where he's getting better now and he hasn't beat him yet. Yeah. But like he's gone in three like, more it's times. Like Arya and the Waif, you know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Only there this you go. is. There's another. <laughs> there you go. See. Yeah. So, yeah. um, uh, all right. So cool. So very cool. So, uh, at the, on the, the last thing here, we're going to get into Quinn and Vale and little baby Henry. Yes. Um, I think we all agree that Quinn is a, it's a return to form for Quinn. Uh, Absolutely. he's, he's, got his, he's got reasserting, people. yep. Reasserting his dominance, his reasserting mm-hmm. his character back into the show. I mean, it's only been two episodes, yeah. but still, you know, we're seeing him, um, his voice has changed. Uh, he's changed his Mar- okay. Martin the actors. He's changed his voice. It's up a little higher, a little weird. Um, I'm, I don't know about you, Mikey, but I feel like it's 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 a weird like juxtaposition of having that visage of that man, right? He's a kind of an imposing looking dude, and then he's yeah. got this voice. The accent is fine, but it's a higher pitch now. I don't know, a little weird. Hey, maybe you forgot how to say it. Do it exactly since maybe. it's been over a year that but they I mean, uh, filmed season one. You know. But I mean, he's uh, Jesse says he's definitely a man of some principles, and I mean, I think we would agree with that. Yeah, well, during the baptism, you know, we saw how we spoke about, you know, with Ryder and how they would baptize these children with the blood and this and that, right, and yeah. and um, you know, my 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 biggest, you know, my biggest point that I that I've that I got from this is that the more and more this is going to go on, the more and more he's going to see little Henry as his own. Well, he's already I mean, doing that shit. That's he baptizes I, I, them. They like, really, really showed it, especially at the end. Um, you know, when he says, uh, you know, um, he was holding Vale's hand and, and look, you know, up up against him. He's gonna be something special. He's gonna be something yeah. special, exactly. So I'm gonna see. A, I'm, I'm definitely think there's gonna be a, a conflict with with Sonny and him. Um, hopefully, before the end of the season. And it's gonna be like no 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 he's mine you know what Sonny's I mean. Sonny's gonna be pissed. Oh fuck yeah! I mean he might be cool with the fact that he's kind of protecting her, but I can see. No, he's Quinn doing it. He's doing it to get in. over. He's to get over on Sonny, man. You know it. You know I his whole goal. Each other, but he doesn't know if Sonny's alive or dead. So I don't. Th- I think that Sonny to him is not in his thoughts. I don't think. Maybe. I think when okay, it. Okay, maybe. You know, I mean, I just think that Quinn, uh, he sees value in, in Vale because obviously she, she you know, brought him back with yeah. uh, however she, you know, took care of him and got him, you know, kicked back into health. So, you know, now this child, especially like you just said, you know, how he says he sees something in Henry. I, I just feel like um, they, they kind of like need each other. And especially when he killed his own man. When he when the guy was creeping on on Vale when she was breastfeeding, right? You know he said if anybody disrespects, you know Vale or little Henry, you know you're you're, you're finished. Yeah. So exactly. Yeah. 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 So I don't know, man. I mean, yeah, I you know I I agree, and um, but yeah. it is it is cool to see that on the even on the, you know this guy fought death this guy beat death twice now. Hmm. With That's, his yeah. fucking brain cancer, yeah. brain tumor, and then getting stabbed by Sonny. Like, this man just doesn't die. Yeah, you know? well, he's a good character. He's a good Great actor. character. Great yeah. character. And I love that even after all that, he isn't like, Because uh, at the end of the last episode, you know, we didn't, 
he kind of was a little like, uh, like you didn't know what he was going to be like. And then all of a sudden he's, he's, they introduced mm-hmm. him into this episode so well. Like you see this whole group of people fighting and then he's just standing there with two sides. You know, yeah. like, oh, shit, like, look at this fucking guy. This guy's a maniac. And you remember, yeah. this motherfucker trained Clippers. Yeah. Like, this motherfucker trained Clippers. Like, he knows what he's doing, not to mention how many times oh, he fought, yeah. you know? like Yeah. So, I don't know, man. Great character. Great fucking character. Definitely, definitely steals any scene and even the show. Um, so, I mean... Having said all that, um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not really into doing any theories at this point. You know, I'm just, I just enjoy. I mean, yeah, it's too early. You know, just enjoyed what we saw. I'm, I'm really liking all the characters again. It's good to see these characters again, and, and I, and I really want to. I'm glad we're doing this show because I want to talk about them. I want to get into their heads. I want to, like we did with The Walking Dead. Like I really do. I think this is a great show, and I hope it runs for a long time. And um, yeah. I'm excited to see what happens, what happened to the world. I think I think we might be getting some of that. Maybe we'll get know? a little taste of it. Just a little know? bit, you know. Um, all right. So is that is that is that it? Are we good? Is yeah, that, no. Is that going to be an episode? You know. Is that a show? I think so. All right. That sounds good. Guys, as always, let us know what you thought. Uh, give us your your take on everything. You know, if if you find some, if you find any um, oh, if you find any cool images or anything for any of the shows we talk about, especially this show, any memes, anything, just please send them our way. You can either I don't think you can link them down here, but go to go to Twitter, our Twitter or our Instagram or the, we have our Facebook, Facebook group page. Excuse me. Um, and you get to it. All that is at Third Person Pod. So go over there and get that. And if you wouldn't mind, if you're hearing us on iTunes, if you want to leave a review, that could be cool. Uh, help help get the show, um, you know, seen by or heard by more people. Um, and again, if you're watching us on YouTube, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Again, we want to apologize for Jesse not being here. His internet sucks. He's working on it. Um, but they they like to screw with him. So he was not able yeah. to be here tonight, and we're we're bummed. But we did get him in spirit. And we got his words here. So it's right. classic Jesse lines in here. Uh, <laughs> lastly, if um, if you didn't already know, which you probably do, but our buddies at um, ComicBlitz.com, Comic we're working Blitz. with them. Yep. Uh, if you guys want to get yourself um, a, it's like a you can you can get like a trial subscription with them. Uh, you can get unlimited comics uh, for uh, three months for uh, the first three months for for only three dollars so a dollar a month get yourself get you know go get their unlimited subscription uh they got a bunch of them but one of them is unlimited you can just go get just go order that pay three bucks for the first three months and they're yours and you can binge read anything you want catch up catch up on some stuff or get some new stuff whatever you want to do use the promo code third person pod and uh get into that and um yeah and if if you do do that you'd be helping out our show as well because that that helps us a little bit too so um, go get your go get your binge on, um, which is a phrase that I love. And Mike, you've coined that, so um, I use it freely. So <laughs> get, get, get your binge on. Get your binge on, um, and that's gonna do it for us here. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, thank you very much for the support and everything that uh, you guys you know do for us and, and and you know hanging out with us and being part Absolutely. of our community. We love it. Tell your friends. Tell everyone who watches the show. I want to get more people watching this show. It seems like not a lot of people are watching or or, or doing anything about it. So I'm glad that we're able to do it, and I'm glad you guys are here watching it and listening to it. So. Thank you very much. That's it. I'm done talking. <laughs> Thank you for watching the show. Mikey, Breathe, right? <laughs> as always, it's been a pleasure. This has been a, yes, sir. It's been a testing night without having Jesse here, but I think we had some fun uh, regardless. I don't think, uh, yeah, I think Jesse will climb the, the pole to try to fix his cable yeah, before he you, misses man, another. Yeah, we should do a whole episode on, on Jesse's battle with, with his um, <laughs> internet media Mediacom. Yeah, fuck you, Mediacom. There, I said it. Are you happy? Great. Hashtag. We just uh, the video goes off. Damn it! They have a lot of power on YouTube apparently. <laughs> anyway, good shit, guys. Right, we'll guys. see you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Peace. Peace.